you guys I have this Porsche key in my hands I'm super excited about this because this is the brand new 911 Turbo S <laughs> this is the key right here so it's kind of in the shape of a Porsche watch this tuck your fingers underneath it recognizes your fingers and then the handle pops out which is super cool what's even cooler is how you lock this car you can either do it like this of course with the lock button on the key fob or you can do it like this so you just run your finger along the side of the handle and it tucks itself nicely in I love that visual feature because usually it's the lights flashing or there's a beep from the horn I love that you can walk away from this car knowing that it is now locked in the front you have 20 inch wheels and then in the back you actually have 21 inch so the car is kind of like on a slant a little bit super sporty you've also got center lock wheels which is super cool now around the back guys you can see the width of this car it's slightly wider than the standard 911 so it just gives us a little bit more presence on the road and here this is how everyone behind you knows that you have the fastest car ever the only thing about Porsche that kind of throws me is that if it didn't have this badge on the back you wouldn't exactly know what Porsche it is. It really irks me that you can have a $200,000 car, the same as a Lamborghini, but it kind of looks like every other Porsche. That's, that's one downside for me about Porsche. I'm gonna open up the back. This is all the access you get to your engine. This is it. You cannot see the engine. That's gonna melt anyway, so I'm doing them a favor. It's hot. <laughs> I love tearing off these new stickers. This is actually a 3.7 liter twin turbo flat six, you guys, but they've written 3.8 here on the back because they've actually rounded up. It's actually a 3.745 liter engine. And instead of going 3.7, which it's closer to, they've rounded all the way up to 3.8 and stuck it there on the badge. So whichever way you want to say it, it's around 3.75 liters. All right, let's close her back up. And here we go. You've got your tiny little boot space. However, that does fit two carry-on suitcases, which is all right, that's fine. So there's nothing exciting about that. That's standard. However, something really cool right now. Check this out. The front splitter actually extends, which is quite cool. So not only does the rear spoiler move, but the front does as well. Check this out. So this is the interior of the Turbo S, you guys. And it doesn't have a start-stop button, which a lot of uh, supercars now do have. Actually, pretty much all of them have. What it does have instead is this little toggle. You see this here? Like, it's that's so bizarre to me. Why isn't there just a start-stop button? Pull this around. Ignition comes on. And one more. And it's on. So as you can see, this is a fixed display here to show it's, a, it's your rev meter, basically. You've got this part here and this part here on either side that will change modes. Just with this little toggle is how you change the display. So watch this. And then with this, you can actually change the drive mode that you're in with this toggle right here. So you can just move this around to the right, sport. Now the other thing is, and I've never seen this in a car before, you see how this is currently just a little box that you can store stuff in, like your phone. What you can do is just open up the glove box and here they have 
a Porsche labeled cup holder and you just replace it. So if you don't want storage and you want a cup holder, you just replace it with this. How crazy. Look at that. What is this? Hello, tell me what you are. No, it's being silent today. This is your gear lever. Uh, looks kind of odd, a little bit, mm, I'm not sure about it. I mean, it's, it's small, it's compact, it's all right. I don't know, like you've got beautiful toggles now with crystal detailing and all of these gorgeous things and nice shapes and everything. This is just there. Reverse, you push forward and you've got a nice rear view camera. It's absolutely fine. You can see everything you need to. Here we go. So this is the open exhaust button. This is actually optional. The Turbo S, it starts at around $200,000, you guys, and you do not get a sports exhaust as standard, which is kind of crazy to me. And this is also an optional extra, you guys. This is the front lift. And, oh, I can feel that very quick. It's very quick. That's brilliant and it's so easy to access so as you go over any kind of speed bumps that are a little bit too big pop that down no one behind you is going to be waiting let's turn her on click that click again boom and toggle this around drive mode into sports plus you can hear that change the sound immediately and you want to hear it? Nick's not too impressed. He's behind the camera going. <laughs> That's a face. I've been driving this car today and I love that it gurgles and pops. That's another downfall for me about this car, the Turbo S. It has the potential to sound incredible. I understand this is more for a daily drive, so maybe they, that's why they've kind of toned it down a little bit. However, I still think if you're going to pay that much money, you want to kind of hear that much money coming from the engine. All right, let's go for a drive. It just feels so stiff. As soon as you get in, you're like, yeah, this is such a sporty, stiff feeling. And it is so fast, you guys, zero to 100 in 2.7 seconds. 2.7 seconds, you guys. What? That's faster than my McLaren 720S. 640 horsepower. That's more horsepower than the Lamborghini Huracan Evo. What? You would never suspect it if you were looking at this car unless you know exactly what a 911 Turbo S is. And that's kind of my issue with this car. It needs to look more dramatic. Now, what you can do is it has launch control and it's one of the easiest cars to put into launch control. All you do, literally, is you stop the car, you put your left foot on the brake, your right foot on the accelerator, and you rev it to 5,000 RPM, and then it will say uh, activated, and off you go. You take off, that's the launch control. Holy mackerel. <laughs> wow! I really like this car. Wow! This car is fast! <laughs> ah! It's really fast, you guys. It's really, really fast. In conclusion, I freaking love this car. It's amazing. It is so fast. It's kind of practical, the back seats, it's got everything you need, it's even got launch control, love, love, love. The only thing for me is it could have a little bit more drama, as in looks-wise, let's zhuzh it up a little bit, and the sound could be a little bit more zhuzh. Massive thank you to Porsche Middle East uh, for giving me the chance to drive this beauty! And uh, yeah, thank you to you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the Supercar Blondie family. We are growing really quickly and we've got some amazing giveaways coming up this year. Happy 2021 and I'm out. See y'all.